Okay, the first thing that you need to do in order to connect or network with a transmitter is to plug in your CAD5 connector right there. Alright, uh, if you see here, if you're going to connect to a screen box transmitter, you need to go to this icon here, the second one, it says AK1 underscore STSC and double click it once you're connected to the uh, transmitter. <coughs> it'll bring up a new window there we are here in this box you see the little lines flashing you want to enter the IP address of any of the transmitters you're working with in this instance this is a 192.168.2.30 they all have their own individual IP <coughs> and most of them are already marked so hit enter that will connect you directly to you notice this little windows here on the side is just saying that it's connected via the internet. <coughs> Can I move this in the, to the middle? <coughs> Pardon me. Now, when you hit uh, any of these icons up on top here, for example, this is the home button. This little box with the input, see the little window pops up? That's input click input and you'll see that you have your ASI in other words the signal coming in from the processor in here and it's streaming just fine and here are the bit rates you want to see what the information here is on the tuner then we can see tuner uh, A and B are both receiving signal and that's how you split the uh, two channels this other box is the modulation you can see what the modulation settings are no need to mess with that and we can go over here to the linear filter and we can see what's going on there and you can see how flat this is when you see that there's a break up here in the actual modulation rate of the transmitter is not working properly you'll see it being very disruptive here so anyhow this is the output on this icon here that i'm on now right there and here's your output you can see what the voltage temperature I mean the voltage outputs are it should be 24 it's running at the right voltage there here's the network uh, information in case you're plugged in this is the IP address of the unit you can also access that through the front of the panel here's the GPS if you have that plugged in here it'll tell you how many satellites are connected you have a green light and data and it'll update your coordinates time and date and all that stuff you notice here on this box right here where it gives you the alarms <clears throat> and the particular this particular uh, transmitter I'm working on has issues with the with the oscillator it's not locking but if you take out the check boxes here you notice the box is coming up the transmitter will come back up there's no see how the check mark is up here the check mark means that you're doing good and I can already hear the transmitter come online over there let's look at the output here and I look at the 42 volts here before we didn't have it now we have 42 volts and now we have our power output at 43 dB MVs. so always check right here and see if you have an X if there's an X you can actually uh, Go ahead and correct stuff via software temporarily until you get the uh, transmitter replaced. Now we have AGC automatic gain control is on. It is a digital signal going out, not analog, but digital. That's why we have a green light there. Now here on the logs, the last icon of events, you can click on that and it'll take you and show you where the uh, uh, all the issues have been. For example, there is a no oscillator operating there so it was a red that's what was giving us a red light in front of the panel as well and it'll display all the different issues some issues may be GPS unlock and I noticed that the SEE units will display issues on the 10 see where it says signal 10 megahertz right here that I have highlighted now when you don't when this is red your transmitter is not work not gonna work you can also check uncheck this and it'll operate just fine uh, 
It just won't have a lock with satellite. The other thing is that you can bypass those S E S E uh, GPS units and plug in the actual GPS antenna directly to the front end of the transmitter and then if you go to the uh, GPS icon here you will begin to see satellite numbers locking in here and for so I don't see the reason for using the ESE uh, the previous engineer installed them uh, what I gather from the engineers from Screenbox is that uh, it's, su it's sufficient to plug into the front. Mm -hmm. So um, that's further information that needs to be checked out. That's it for operating this unit. Mm -hmm.